Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Annette. And this is our Chase for Adventure. <laughs> We leave for Chicago! Well, well we leave for Bangkok. Bangkok. But the first leg of the trip is Chicago. <laughs> yeah. So we have now upwards of 35 hours of travel time. It's between 36 and 38 hours yeah. <clears throat> to get to Bangkok, Thailand. We should be getting there in Eastern Standard Time by tomorrow at 7 p.m. But for us, since we're going to the other side of the world where it's actually 11 hours ahead from this time right now, we will be getting there at 7 a.m. Bangkok time on Thursday, the June 21st. 21st. Yeah. But we're super excited. Okay, we'll see you at the airport. Yeah, yeah. Honey, bunny, why are you walking away? Baby, lost your tongue somewhere, don't know what to say. Stop and run around, oh, you act like a kid. I am not your mama, just admit what you did. I got so we just made it through customs and now we are at our gate. So it's time to check out the airport, see if we can find that lounge that we were looking for. And then after that, it's flying time. We're so excited. So we're trying to find someone to ask about the lounge. So I guess we'll find out, see what happens. All right, well, I guess it looks like we're hanging out at the gate yeah. because it says that they don't have a lounge. Although I'm pretty sure I looked online and there but was a lounge. They said it was like an employee only lounge. So I don't know about all that. I trust Google. I'll get back to you on that. We're gonna make this really yeah, fast. We're about, we're about to board the plane. That's the line behind us. That's our plane that we're getting on. And it's gonna be really fun, so we can't wait to share this with you. a few rows back. Uh, for some reason, the airline didn't sit us together, uh, but I wasn't able to get a window seat, so I'll be able to show you guys some cool shots right here. Bye! Stop making up excuses when I simply don't care. Realistically speaking, this probably never happens, but we've been sitting on the tarmac for probably 45 minutes and the pilot just gave us an update that there probably isn't going to be an update for a while. There's about 40 to 50 planes backed up waiting for parking and we've literally just been driving around the airport waiting for a spot. But we're still really excited to get to Bangkok. We just need to get there. See ya. But we're finally getting off the plane! Oh, we were like an hour and a half or two hours getting off of the plane. We, the plane literally went around on the tarmac multiple times because apparently there were like a hundred planes in front of us trying to land. Anyway, what we're trying to do now is go meet up with our friends Ryan and Diamond. We were supposed to go out to the city and they're gonna show us a little bit of Chicago because we were supposed to have a five hour layover. Now we have like an hour and a half. So I think right now what we're gonna do is just go say hi to them and thank them for being here since 2 p.m. Thank you, Ryan and Diamond. I appreciate you guys. We're so sorry. <laughs> There's nothing we could have done. Okay. These are our friends. I am so happy to see them. <laughs> She's been on like the verge of a meltdown. We just made it downstairs. We finally get, were able to meet up with Ryan and Diamond. And we've been finally able to sit down after carrying our very, very heavy luggage all across the airport. So now we're going to have sex. situation we got lost in the airport there ran into some random guys that was doing airport transport from thailand yeah and he was able to take us to a bus because the shuttle ended up being shut down yes it has been an adventure here at o'hare <laughs> boarding passes that we had printed in Fort Lauderdale I guess don't work at the Chicago airport so now Daniel is actually with his passport going to go print new Qatar boarding passes so that hopefully we're able to make it onto our plane on time. 
So we luckily skated by with American Airlines, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be that way with Qatar Air. So we ended up having to check our bag, but thankfully they were awesome. They gave us fragile stickers because we do have some camera equipment in the bag and they told us to come drop them off in a separate location because they're nicer apparently over here. Yeah, to so, your bags, so they don't Thank break. you, Qatar Airways. Yes. Now it's back to actually go through security because we tried the first time and apparently the American Airlines tickets don't always scan. Of course, that happened to us, but it's okay. We'll see you guys on the other side. We are at Chicago O'Hare International Airport and we have officially gone through the security checkpoint and we are walking to our gate for our flight that goes from O'Hare to Doha, Qatar. So this is the longest flight of the three that we've taken today. This one is 14 hours long uh, and we'll be arriving. The flight leaves at 6.50 tonight and then our flight gets there at 4 p.m. Qatar time tomorrow. But it should be fun. His entire family is from Iraq and they're going to be going to Baghdad for the next month to visit some family that they haven't seen in five years. Ali, how are you feeling about the trip? Good. Good. I'm so happy to hear that, dude. And guys, this is something that I really love about travel is getting to meet people from all over the world. And they're just like us, y'all. They're awesome. Look at Ali. Look at their friends and family. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you in Doha. This is the said behind me. Hi! Thank you so much and welcome on board. Thank you. Enjoy the flight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Qatar gave us goodie bags. So let's take a look. Let's open up this situation right here. Look at it. So we've got socks. We've got earplugs. We've got an eye mask. We've got chapstick. We've got lip balm. That's cool. We've got a toothbrush and toothpaste. I love it. Man. And that's it. And a hat. And we actually seem to have gotten really lucky on this flight because it's a 14 hour flight, but it's only the two of us in the row. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I didn't even notice only that. Two of us. We somehow accidentally picked these awesome seats. Yes. And we had to take off the glasses because it, I mean, take the off the contacts. Glasses. Take off the contacts because it's like a 14 hour flight and I'm not about to have those things stick in my eyes. And I already took Benadryl, so I am getting ready to fall asleep any minute now. So, for those of you guys who have never flown before, this at least here is Qatar Airways. They gave, me, they gave us some really nice accessories and things to like have. But they also have in-flight entertainment, so you're able to watch movies, you're able to play games, and it even has like a little game controller right over here for you to pull out yeah, and play games, guys. Got the crew How neat. Thank you. We lost all ambition, a worldly acclaim. We does my thing, move forward. It just stays the same.
debating on putting Bailey's in my coffee. Oh my, no, I can't do it. No. Okay, let me tell you a story about the last time I put Bailey's in my coffee. Um, the last time I put Bailey's in my coffee was actually also on an airplane. It was from Greece to Dubai when I was coming back from my study abroad trip. Three years ago. Three years ago. And I made the cup and it was freshly brewed. I went to use the bathroom. Danny put my laptop in my seat because he was like trying to get in. And somehow I whacked the full coffee cup of Bailey's coffee on my keyboard. And one of these days it's just bound to happen. That you guys are going to see the mustache that was left on my computer from the time it drank a full cup of Bailey's coffee. Like there was literally no coffee on the seat, no coffee no on way. the side of the wall. The entire cup got dumped and stayed inside, inside the of the computer. computer. So It's still alive. We're still using it today. Yeah. It just randomly corrupts files so we don't put anything important on it. Yeah. Well, it corrupted files for a while and then it like, they reappeared. Anyway. We snagged them off that computer so fast. Like, it was like a year and a half later, all of a sudden we're like, oh my god, we have the videos from Europe. And we just put them onto a hard drive. Yeah, well we thought that we had lost all of the videos that we took from Europe. And maybe we'll showcase some of them here. But we thought that we had lost them all, so we were so upset. And we thought we had lost all of the pictures, because literally I had just spent like two months studying abroad in Italy. And for the computer to turn off, we completely freaked out. Anyway, computer's still alive, pictures are fine, videos are fine. No more Bailey's coffee for me on airplanes. It's time for breakfast. Danny had the scrambled eggs with mushrooms. I had some chicken. This looks really good. This looks like dinner. Alrighty guys, so I'm usually really curious about what restrooms look like in different airlines. So I'm about to go show you. So this airport is kind of quiet. It's really nice. And in comparison to like the hustle and bustle at Miami International or the total crap show of O'Hare, this in comparison is like, ah. One reason that we are super excited to be in Doha is because the Middle East is actually a place that we are extremely interested in the culture and the way that they live their lives and what people, their countries the religion. have to, Yeah, the people, the religion, all of it. And it's like a little taste because this is where we actually want to go after Southeast Asia. But I guess we'll just have to stick with a little bit of taste. Yeah. On the other hand, the airport is really nice. It's yeah. really quiet. And now we're going to go and try and find that lounge. But first, there's a giant teddy bear. Are we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? So we are here at the Doha Oryx Lounge and we finally made it and there's Wi-Fi and there's food and there's coffee and there's showers and I'm so excited to show you guys all of this because we're really pumped to be here. We lost all ambition, but where do you play? We does not think we'll forward. So we just finished up in the Al Maha Transit Lounge and it was awesome. They gave us like razors to shave with, they gave us toothbrush, a body lotion, body wash, hair conditioner, yeah. all of it. Towel the works. It was great. Yeah. Thank you guys for making that experience awesome. Yes. Thank you to Priority Pass and Chase mm -hmm. Sapphire Reserve for offering that program. That's really awesome. I'm really excited to go visit all the lounges around the world. Yeah. Also, you guys are wondering why I'm sporting my Snuggie. I forgot I was in the Middle East. <laughs> 
and legs are not a thing here. And so a tip for travelers in the future, just keep in mind what the cultural norms are in the country that you're going to. Did I have to cover up? No. But do I want to respect the culture of the country that I, the foreigner, am coming into? Absolutely. So snuggy it is. The people who come to this airport definitely got some bucks. All of them. <laughs> Not us. We can window shop. We can, oh yeah. I know he said this a lot. I love traveling. And probably my favorite thing about traveling is just experiencing other people's cultures and languages. Even though I made like a total cultural faux pas wearing my shorty short shorts that were meant for Thailand <laughs> into a <laughs> Middle Eastern lounge. But it's so interesting. These people have lived their whole lives believing this way and living this way and it's so different from what we have at home and I love it. I think it's super duper cool. And we get to meet so many cool people. We've made like six friends from five different countries yeah. in less than 24 hours. To board our flight to go to Bangkok. This flight is leaving at 8.05 Qatar time, but we don't get to Bangkok until 7 a.m. their time. So we're heading to another flight that we have to fall asleep on and we'll be getting there at 7 a.m. on Thursday, June 21st. So that is the end of the travel day for us, or well, travel two days it seems like. Right now we're gonna try and find a taxi to our hostel, but I guess you guys will have to wait till next time to see it. But we're in Bangkok! Yeah!